This is a story from the year 2016, when doctors in Estonia conducting a brain checkup for a patient. During the checkup, they noticed something unprecedented in the field of medical science. The patient had a neurological condition, and the doctors were recording their brain activity using EEG. The doctors were performing a routine brain checkup. However, they had no idea that something extraordinary would happen during this test. Just a few minutes into the test, the patient suddenly experienced a heart attack, and unfortunately he passed away. This incident marked the first time in the doctor's lives that a patient's brain had been disrupted during a brain scan itself. The doctors were now certain that whatever thoughts were going through the patient's mind would be recorded in this test. The patient who passed away was an 87 years old Canadian national who was suffering from a condition called epilepsy. Due to this condition, the patient would often experience seizures while sitting. Because of this, the doctors were monitoring their brain tissues using EEG, which stands for electroencephalography. EEG is a test that monitors the electrical activity in the brain. Around a dozen electrodes are attached to the patient's head, which detect electrical charges produced by brain cells. The results of this test would reveal what was happening in the patient's mind at that moment. To understand how doctors interpret the results of this test to determine the patient's thoughts, it's important to understand the concept of brain activity. The human brain contains over 100 billion neurons, which are a crucial part of our nervous system. Neurons transmit messages from one place in the brain to another. These message actually represents an electrical charge in the brain. It sends electrical charges to neurons in one part of the brain, and neurons in another part receive these charges, and then send signals to perform actions in the body. The brain processes so many of these messages simultaneously, that the resulting electrical charges move from one place to another. These moving electrical charges create patterns called brain waves, which have different names for different tasks in medical science. Medical science can identify five types of brain waves. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and theta. These brain waves have various patterns and frequencies. For example, alpha brain waves are produced when the brain is relaxed, while beta brain waves are produced when we are awake and active. Gamma brain waves with the highest frequency from 25 to 140 Hz are associated with complex tasks performed by highly intelligent individuals. Delta brain waves with the lowest frequency are produced during deep sleep and are linked to hormone production. Theta brain waves with frequencies between 4 to 7 Hz are related to memory consolidation, learning new skills, and dreaming. Now that we understand the basics of these brain waves, it will be a bit easier for us to comprehend the brain scan of that patient. Just as we've learned that gamma wave frequencies range from 25 to 140 Hz, there's another range within this range that goes from 30 to 100 Hz. The brain produces these specific gamma waves when we are using our memory and recalling special life events. Doctors noticed a significant increase in gamma waves in the brain of the Canadian patient before their death. Scientists previously attempted to observe brain activity during moments of death, but were not entirely successful in recording it. However, in the case of this Canadian patient, moments before and after death, they experienced vivid recollections of both positive and negative memories. Doctors and scientists extensively studied the patient's gamma wave activity from 2016 to 2022, and then these results were obtained. While there is not a concrete proof of the doctors and researchers' findings, they also engaged with patients who were saved from the brink of death due to illness. These individuals also reported experiencing a flashback of their life. This is not limited to just one or two people, but shared by many. Doctors and researchers did not publish this brain scan publicly from 2016 onwards for two reasons. Firstly, they wanted to study it thoroughly, and secondly, they intended to match the brain scan taken during the Canadian patient's death with brain scans of other people. The research papers also mention that the Canadian patient was suffering from a disease and was taking many medications, which could alter brain activity and affect the results. But there's a high chance that when a person is dying, their entire life flashes before their eyes, and if this is true, those who have done good deeds in their life will see similar things repeating at the time of death. Similarly, it's apparent that those who have chosen a path of wrongdoing will face flashback experiences aligned with that path. Share your thoughts about this discovery in comment section, and subscribe our channel for more informative content.